Question, question number 12, Ian McKelvey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, my question is to the Associate Minister for Primary Industries and ask what recent announcement has the government made regarding, regarding forestry regulations? Mr Speaker. The Hon. Louise Upston. Earlier today, uh, Dr Nick Smith and I announced a new nationwide set of environmental rules for managing New Zealand's 1.8 million hectares of plantation forestry. Forestry is New Zealand's third largest primary industry, but its efficiency is hampered by the confusing mix of planning rules across our 86 councils. This new national approach will better protect the environment while improving productivity by reducing consenting costs and applying consistent environmental standards. This new national forestry standard is an important part of the government's RMA changes, facilitated by amendments passed in May and aimed at getting better environmental outcomes with less cost and bureaucracy. Supplementary, Speaker. Supplementary question, Ian, uh, Ian McKelvey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. How will these regulations benefit the forestry industry? Mr Speaker. The Hon. Louise Upston. The forestry industry will benefit from having a set of consistent regulations to operate under. Planning rules at local government level mean there could be as many as three sets of regional or district plan rules. The forestry sector employs over 26,000 people and exports total around $5 billion a year. So removing this uncertainty will encourage greater investment in a significant contributor to our economy, especially at the regional level. More plantation forestry will provide a variety of environmental benefits, including improvement in water quality, carbon storage, habitat for in indigenous species and stabilisation of erosion-prone land. The standards come into force on 1 May 2018. They will be implemented over a nine-month period and key st stakeholders will be consulted to ensure an effective rollout. And that concludes questions for oral answer. I call on Government Motion of the Day number one. Government Notice of Motion number one relating to the appointment of a chairperson of the Independent Police Conduct Authority. The Honourable Mark Mitchell. I move that 